Come on. All right, again, the show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information about them over at tunicatravel.com. They've got some really exciting things going on down there. Uh, you can always find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Again, take this chance to remind you, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments. If you're listening on the podcast, if you would so kindly hit subscribe and leave us a nice five-star review on Apple Podcasts. We would appreciate it. Our five favorite NFL over-unders. Do you want to start this thing off or you want me to? No, you go ahead because I'm searching for one thing. Searching for one more thing. Okay, I'll start with my first one. The Dolphins under four and a half is plus 115. I think that that is a lock. I don't think that this team has an identity. I think their offensive line is weak. Their defense, not so great. They have still got to figure out what they've got in certain playmakers like Minka Fitzpatrick, etc. Um, I think they are still going to have to develop Josh Rosen. I think as weak as that offensive line is, I don't think Ryan Fitzpatrick lasts through the season. Uh, I think under four and a half is a really, really good bet here. Carolina Panthers love this team. I think they're going to hit 10 wins this year. They are seven and a half. I'm pulling all my odds from, where is this? Odd Shark. Yep. So just so you know where I'm getting them from, and we're doing this on the 11th, somebody gets hurt or somebody breaks out, these odds are going to change. Obviously. Right well, now. I mean, they'll be changing every day regardless. True. So, But got them seven and a half to go over. You're laying 125. And uh, I, I like this team to hit 10 wins. Okay. And if Cam's healthy, I, I think I think that's they're going to do that easily. I think this team is going to compete. I like them a lot. Okay. Okay. I can understand that. Next up for me, the Packers. Under 9.5, it is minus 140. Look, with the Packers, every year they get the Aaron Rodgers effect. They inflate this line. People love Aaron Rodgers. They all think he's going to be amazing. They got a first-year head coach. I don't trust the playmakers on offense. I don't know that I really trust the defense a whole lot. Uh, they may be average, but you're talking about under nine and a half. And I think it is a lock. Even I've, I've got them at, at nine and seven, maybe eight and eight. They I won think, six games last year, I, and yeah. can you show me where they're marketably better anywhere? No. Uh, other than I think maybe the quarterback probably gets along with the head coach better, but we I don't know. We what don't that know that right matters. now, based yeah. on reports. Yeah, we don't. We don't know that. So I, I think it is a lock that the Packers go no better than nine and seven this year. Uh, so I'm going under nine and a half at minus one forty. We're only giving you five. I completely second that. I'm not going to waste one of my picks and be in one of his picks. So. Yeah, there's that. Cincinnati Bengals, six is the number. Under six is plus 105. I just don't see this team getting the six wins. I don't see them getting the five wins. I think I got them two or three win team. Yeah, you had them two and 14. I, I think they're going to be bad this year. I think they're going to struggle mightily. That was, a, that was uh, one of my added ones down here uh, because I agree with you on the Bengals. I, I, I don't. I don't trust uh, Zach Taylor. I don't trust, you know, I, we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, Just taking with, guys that knew Sean McVay is just not going to work. No. It, I don't it's so. just not how this league is going to win. It's just, it just doesn't happen. Uh, next up for me, the Raiders. Under six and a half at minus 140. Uh, John Gruden, that whole bunch, yes, they brought in a lot of guys. They brought in Antonio Brown. They brought in... Uh, uh, Trent Brown. They brought in, you know, they, they they've got a bunch of guys. I don't think it works because I don't think that the locker room works. I don't think that this team is more talented than the majority of the teams that they're playing. Six and a half is a big number. Uh, I mean, this team went what five and eleven last year. That's right. They think they'll have to win two games over that. And I don't think that they do. I, I think it is a lock that they don't win any more than six. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to take the under here. I think this is a, a hard knocks inflation. I'm going under the 6.5 at minus 140 on the juice. My next game is uh, the Vikings. I got them at 9. Over is uh, minus 120. And I really like this Vikings team a lot. I think they're going to get to 12 wins, 11 wins. What do I have them at? 12 wins. 12. And and I, I, I think this team's exceptionally well uh, coached team. 
from top to bottom, I think their offense is going to be marketably better than they were last year. Don't need the defense to be any better, but I think they are going to be better just because they're another year playing together and, and maybe won't be have the injuries, some of the, the injuries that they had last year. Um, they're going to run the football. They're going to put Kirk Cousins in situations to, to be more successful. I love this Vikings team this year. Did you already have this one? Nope, I don't. Okay. I'm going to roll with the Washington Redskins. I'm going under six and a half. Uh, I don't like what they've got going on offense. Uh, you, you can't project injuries, but with this team, it seems like maybe you can. Um, I think at best, because they will eventually move to Dwayne Haskins, and it's going to take some time to develop him. Even if they don't, Case Keenum wasn't that great with the Broncos last year. I think he had better weapons with the Broncos. Uh, I think he had a better defense with the Broncos. Uh, the Redskins, while talented, uh, I think it's still going to take some time. Jay Gruden may try and play a little more conservatively, trying to save his job this year. I think eventually that hurts them in the long run. I like the Redskins under 6.5 at minus 130 here. My next team is the New York Jets. Got them at 7.5 wins is their total. I'm going under that. It's just standard minus 110 juice. I, I don't see any way on earth this team is four games better than last year. They might be improved. I've got them winning four games again this year. They could easily be better than that. I don't know that they're doubling their win total. This is not an 8-8 eight and eight team yet. So they, you got them at under 7.5. Yeah, under 7.5, minus 110 juice. And, and I don't know that Adam Gase – the offense will look better under Adam Gase. And the defense has talent. But winning eight games, I just don't, I just cannot fathom that happening with this team, this roster. Okay, okay, I can, I can see you there. And then I've got two that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I want to give out the Seahawks under eight and a half, um, but it, would it shock me if they got to nine? No, I don't think so. Um, it's tough to bet against Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll when you think you're only one game different than what Vegas has in line. Yeah, exactly. That's, I want, I want my picks to be. Games that I have two or three games different than what Vegas yeah, sets the line. Obviously. Um, I'm going to go with the Broncos under seven. Uh, I think Joe Flacco might very well be an absolute disaster there. Uh, he has stated he has no desire to help develop Drew Locke. I think eventually this year they will have to move to Locke. Uh, obviously, it's going to take some time, as, as we've seen in camp and you know preseason, etc., uh, I, I like the defense. I think Vic Fangio is going to do a good job with that. But if you can't score points, you can't win football games. I like the under seven here at plus 100. My last one is very simple. My Cleveland Browns. This over-under is nine. I know that they are the most hyped team in all the NFL. And people are going to run away from them because I'm afraid of the hype. Don't be. Just embrace it. Enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to be incredible to watch. The number's nine. The 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 juice is over minus 125. And I, I just I don't think that's a high price to pay. I think this team can win 10 games kind of easily. Just they have to be, if they don't win 10 games, it's a utter failure. Complete and utter failure. And Freddie Kitchens was a disaster. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy from a team that has one win in two years. And then last year, finally turned it on. They just they have to get to double-digit wins. They have too much invested in this roster. They are too talented. And the coaching staff around the one question mark, Freddie Kitchens, are not question marks at all. Right. Steve Wilkins and, and Todd Munkin are absolute bona fide professional NFL coaches. Yeah. They I know what they're doing, and they're going to make sure this place runs tight, right, and John Dorsey, I trust. It's <laughs> going to be a fun year. All right, all right. So let's make some money. Of course, you've got the picks. They will be up over at winningcureseverything.com on the gambling picks section. You can always go over there and click and check out our predictions for the season, etc. We will have everything up within the next week. Um, we appreciate you guys joining us. Of course, you can go back earlier this week, all of our NFL previews, Monday through Thursday. We covered every division, every team. We told you what we think their record for the season will be and why. 
Uh, we appreciate you guys joining us. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. If it's on Apple Podcasts, make sure and leave a review. On YouTube, leave some comments. Tell us what your favorite bets of the season are. We always appreciate hearing from you guys. Go to tunicatravel.com. You want to know more about what's going on down in Tunica, Mississippi? We know. Tunica Travel will tell you. So go and check it out. We'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.